Suppose we have a very small partial context. It has only one object, G1, and four attributes, A, B, C, and D. And let's say we're sure that G1 has A, we're sure that it doesn't have B, and we don't know about C and D. So here, uh, G1 plus the set of attributes that G1 definitely has is A. Uh, G1 question mark, the set of attributes that G1 might have includes A and also C and D. And uh, uh, the set of attributes that G1 doesn't have, G1 minus, is just B. And uh, um, let's assume that our L, the set of implication, implications, contains one implication. CD implies B. And then we ask our oracle if, or our expert, if A implies C. And the oracle says yes. Now we have to modify the formal context. Well, first we accept this implication, we add it to L, but we also modify our formal context, our partial formal context, uh, to take into account this inf new information. So, first of all, we look at G1. L of G1 plus is L of A and it's equal to a c because uh, because of this implication. This means that we now know that G1 has attribute c. Um, well, okay. So if a implies c and we're sure that G1 has a, then we sh we're sure that G1 has c. Mm, now, what about d? We can't conclude that it has D because this implication doesn't tell us anything about it. Um, let's compute L of G1 uh, question mark. Sorry, G1 plus union D. So we tentatively add D to G1 plus. But now G1 plus includes AC. We have replaced uh, G1 plus with AC. Um, so this is the same as L of ACD. And because of this, the first implication, CD implies B, this is, this is equal to A, B, C, D. But we know that G1 doesn't have B. So if we assume that it has D, we get that it also has B. And this contradicts the information that we already have. So we conclude that this object G1 doesn't have D. And uh, we remove uh, this pair G1D from our um, second part of the partial context from E question mark. There are many other possible extensions to the basic version of attribute explorations. Some of them are described in this book called Conceptual Exploration. One thing that is not described in this book is collaborative exploration. And that's quite an interesting approach. Well, if we assume that we have an expert, it may also happen that we have several experts. And these several experts are all experts in our domain, but maybe their um, competence areas are a little bit different. It is interesting to see what happens if we have several experts and they provide answers to different questions. And maybe these answers don't really agree with each other all the time. So a collaborative version of attribute exploration seems like an interesting research field for future.